Okay, cool beans. So some of those files that have been put in, whether they've been put in by uh, Brenda or myself or by one of you guys, one of the other instructional designers, oftentimes what isn't happening is uh, just double checking to see whether once you've exported it out of D2L, if it imports correctly exactly as you wanted it to. Um, so when you are grabbing any of those files of any of those master courses to use in your own system, in your own D2L, be aware that there may be a hiccup as it as you try to unpackage it and download it into your system. If you come across any of those things, let us know. You can, Brenda and I can be the conduit to talk to other people involved um, in terms of the development of that course and whoever else is using it to see whether we can troubleshoot and get a better um, file replaced into that TAC folder so that way everyone can use it. Really the way to approach that TAC folder of master courses is as a tool that we're using collaboratively to help all of us together. So don't be afraid if there's a problem, it's not, it might not be you, it could be the course, or if you're having a hard time and we just need to, then maybe there's a trick that we need to talk about, um, please just open up those lines of communication so we can get those courses as good as possible so it's as easy as possible to download them and get them going and be off the shelf courses like our intention. Right. And one of the things that actually happened when we imported a couple of uh, more than one course, like there was like seven courses we imported over to Emily Griffith. When we imported, we gave the, the files to their LMS, the LMS uploaded it, and the instructor never actually went and looked at those courses. So when we went back in and actually enrolled ourselves in those courses, we realized that according to Emily Griffith, their LMS doesn't unpackage that course cartridge at all. So when he imported it and imported everything into one module, so of course to the instructor, it didn't look like what he thought he had created. It was all the modules had been nested into one module that said welding whatever, one, 224. Um, which we could understand the confusion. It was like, that's not what he designed and that's not what he thought he was seeing when we were designing it. It just so happened that when that, that LMS actually imported it into Emily Griffith's um, LMS, it, it imported into only one module. And it was just like, no wonder he was confused and not using the course. Um, the other thing was that there was a question as to, um, uh, we tried to import, uh, a welding course into CCD's D2L, and because of the manage file section, they had nested folders inside of folders, which Don is very familiar with this. If you put too many folders in, inside that, that manage files area, it breaks the actual um, file URL, so nothing populated in it, and we didn't have a course map to rebuild the course. So it was just like, okay, it says the, these are the documents, but we have no idea where the documents are because they were so nested inside it. So it was things like that that um, if you run across something like that when you do it, let us know so we can actually correct not only the course that you need, but also the master course. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Anything else, Pete, on that? No, I think that's it. I think we're really just trying to make sure that um, there are, these courses are complicated. We've dealt with a lot of them, and so if you come across anything that just doesn't look right, uh, don't hesitate to let us know so we can look at it to make sure that um, we can correct it and make it better for the next person. That's it. I have nothing else. Uh, Divi, do you have anything you need brought to the group that we can actually get you help with? Yeah, I have uh, one question about 3D printing class that DTD might be working on that. The, oh, yeah, the 3D printing. The um, are you looking for the CAD 262 course? I think it's 260 because um, I'm working with the big uh for the articulation at the uh, So we were working thinking that 3D print, we are actually developing a new course called digital manufacturing. Right, That's like right. a 3D printing. So we want to have that materials to, you know, uh, to be similar. That would be awesome. 
Right now, I just had a meeting, um, and I'm going to call to confirm with Amanda the development of CAD 262. Um, I haven't received any material at all from that, and she was supposed to hopefully get maybe a couple of pieces. What I do have, which it's not exactly coming from CCD, but it'll be a CAD 262 course that we're going to use as a master now, because I'm going to send it down to Pike's Peak, I'm going to send it over to CCD, is Ames actually has their um, CAD 262 completed, and I got that today, so I can send that to how would you like to look at that material? Do you want me to put it up in CCD's D2L so that you can take a look at it? Yeah, that would be easy for me. Okay, so I'll put it up in that engineering graphics as uh, Ames's CCD uh, CAD 262. Okay. And that'll be there by, uh, it's 125 now, it'll be there by 3.30 today. 3.30, okay. That would be mm -hmm. um, Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. And like I said, there's no guarantee that's going to be the exact same course material that's coming out of CCD. I am sending them the same exact cartridge. Okay. Um, but the competencies have to be met. The same competencies have to be met. The way they choose to, to meet those competencies in the material can be different. Okay. And that's it. How about you, Donna? Do you have any other questions? No, ma'am, just plugging along, you know. <laughs> right. And I'm hoping with my conversation with Amanda, I might actually have some content for you, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's okay. Well, that's one of those follow-ups that I have to do this afternoon, but I'll send you an email if I get anything. Okay, cool. Uh, Brenda, I have a quick question. Uh, sure. Uh, the spreadsheet that you sent me, the CHAMP course OER, OER URLs, uh, for MET, I think the www were missing, so none of those links are working. HTTP. MET 1010, 10, 1200, all MET classes except GDNT. 1010. 10. Well, I will send it back to you then. Well, it looks like it's... It goes to oh, the, yeah. the I, okay. I checked it. It's only like uh, the www were missing and all those links. That's weird. I will, I will send it right back to you. It'll take me less than five minutes. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No, no worries. See, that is exactly what we needed with the courses, is you tell us what's wrong and we'll fix it and send it back to you. Okay. Awesome. So I have nothing else. Pete, do you have anything else? No, I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. We'll see you next week, uh, next month then. Okay. Bye, all. All right, bye.